now we're gonna consider uh, an inventory modeling what's known as economic producing quantity or economic producing amount where you hesitate between whether you produce or you order so let's see this lesson and we're gonna do a couple of exercises related to this so if you are in a company and you need to decide would you produce the component or would you buy it so what do you do okay so we have to start with as we know the formula with the economic order quantity is y equal to kt over h we define a as the amount of use as a daily amount to produce or the yearly amount to produce bearing in mind d and a demand and the uh, production amount they have both with respect to the same unit of time okay a unit of time could be one day one week one month or one year or even one decade as long as it is one unit of time okay so let's find this formula another another point we must uh, be careful about uh, d which is demand must always be less than the uh, amount to produce a otherwise this component will be negative and the holding cost we have like a negative amount to keep in storage and another way to say it will be using will be consuming which is a demand more than what we're producing so you could say like what if you could say like what if if produce uh, you could say what if we produce less than what we produced uh, what if if we excuse me what if we produce uh, less than the demand okay it's normal this is extremely normal as long you compensate for this amount from another place I'll give you an example if D equal to 100 let's do it per day and you decide to produce a if a is greater than B than D you're fine as you we've seen here in the equation okay if A is less than D okay so D over A is greater than 1 so this amount would be negative in a way you're holding in the storage an amount which is negative like you're holding minus 50 items for example so if A equal to 200 or A equal to 50 sorry so your demand is 100 by you producing 50 so this value equal to 2 so 1 minus equal minus 1 so you have like a minus 1 unit to keep in storage okay. this only works if you would say like you subcontract the remaining amount okay another way to say to set you would say like you might consider ordering so you compensate the um, uh, missing amount right so the same applied here 1 minus da I need to remind you usually this is the amount we have to keep in storage 1 minus da now it's like a percentage the amount we keep in storage usually is y over 2 why it is y over 2 I'll give you another example saying if you have an example non related to this if your salary is um, for example 1 million Lebanese pound so at the start of the month you have like 1 million okay and you start using it on a daily basis so half of the month you like well as long as it lasts but there is a certain time of the month where this value is like in the middle so the amount of money you have per month like over the whole month is like half of the salary for example okay and the same applicable here like if you have if you have 1000 unit at the start of the uh, um, ordering period okay so at the half of months you'll have more than more than the average and the remaining will have less than the average so the value is the average we multiply by this percentage is 1 minus d over a which means like the remaining unit and storage as a percentage 
usually beforehand before we have the problem of whether to reduce or order we just multiply it by one so h times y over t times one now we're not keeping all of it because it is being produced so what's the remaining part that will be like this is the one we'll be holding it in storage i will give you an example if the demand is 50 and we produce 100 so you're not holding the whole amount in storage you're just holding 50 percent of the time like 50 0 0.5 or 50% of the unit on top of the y over 2 okay so we're going to do a couple of examples which will make it easier to understand it. 